we're really all here to discuss um, attitude. And the key question is, does attitude determine altitude? So in true banking style, I'm going to cut to the chase, and I'm going to give you my perspective. And my perspective is absolutely yes. Attitude is so important, it comes before aptitude, and attitude determines absolutely your aptitude. Um, so, so the question is, what does a positive attitude mean? What does it mean to have the right attitude? Um, so, so probably worth kind of maybe looking at the question attitude. Um, for me, attitude is really how you conduct yourself. It's how you think, it's how you drive a result, it's how you work with others, and, and it's how you do it in positive light to such an extent that you can influence people around you. So, and, and it's, not about, it's not about being smiley, it's not about being perky, even though those things help. It really is about working in a collaborative fashion. That's what it's about for me. I've benefited from having a mentor at the moment. As Nina knows, this person is absolutely kicking my ass, uh, my mentor. I have a mentor, I have a coach, and I also have two people that I mentor as well. And I get a lot out, out of that relationship. Um, so I'd really encourage you, for, the, for those of you that don't have coaches or mentors, go out and try and find them. It really is worthwhile. Um, so in summary, I'm going to say to you all, um, really make sure you really check yourself, check your attitude to yourself. Um, but not, not only yourself, you need to have that barometer check with your boss, you need to check his attitude towards you, and you need to really make sure you're in tune with your firm's attitude. That triangulation is, is very, very important. Um, once you've done that triangulation, you need to go into that self-analysis correction mode. Um, and there are a lot of different management tools out there. I'm sure Neela can share a few. Um, but the one that I use kind of works for me. Um, and I'm sure there is a, it comes from some management model, but I <coughs> imagine kind of three concentric circles. So if you manage, if you imagine in maths, three circles, and they all overlap each other. And I start with the top circle, which is about myself, and how I am programmed, what I need, what are my core needs, i.e. to eat, to drink, you know, my core needs. Then I kind of think about a second circle, which is, okay, what do I need in the workplace? How do I act? You know, I, do I ask questions? Do I need to be praised? What do, what, do I need attention? What is it I need? And, what, and then the third box is really, well, what happens if somebody doesn't give me that? What, what, does, what kind of reaction do you get out of myself? Um, and, we, and I sort of use that to analyse myself. I use it to analyse other people and their attitude towards me. And I, I do think a lot about that all the time. Um, lastly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about, again, influence. Um, and making sure you really do have people in your life that really bring you something. Um, I, I spoke about mentors, but you know, in terms of what you get out of people or situations, it may not necessarily have to be a mentor. It could be somebody, somebody trustworthy that you can share, you know, uh, you can share something with, or somebody that just challenges you. And it's important again to have to have those positive people in your life. So, lastly, I'm going to say, um, in your career, you can kind of take. You know, the choice is yours in terms of your <coughs> attitude. Um, you can go through your work, you can keep your nose down and look at the ground below you, or you can look up and enjoy the altitude. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thank you.